крыши Античен архитектор Буде один новий Колонний колізей І падає туман З метилкових слів На сонячник долоні І падає туман З метилкових слів На сонячник долоні Hello, my name is Larissa. Here lives my Ukrainian-American family. And today, my friend Linda came to visit us. And she brought us so tasty things, which is called dumplings, a very popular and famous food around the world. And even more, today, we're going to show you how to make those tasty things at home. So we are inviting you to our kitchen. Come on with us. Dumplings are perhaps the most popular comfort food around the world. Every culture has its version. The Polish have perfected the pierogi, while Ukrainians offer a variation called veroniki. In India, samosas pack fragrant spices, while in England, a good pasty can fill you up entirely. Raviolis, which hail from Italy, are stuffed with everything from ground meats to cheeses to portobello mushrooms. And in Chinese cuisine alone, dozens of types of dumplings exist, from the gently pan-fried pot sticker, to the translucent skin of hagao, to the pork and shrimp stuffed sao mai. They are staples of any dim sum experience. Wontons dating as far back as the 7th century CE were unearthed in Turpan, China, a stop along the ancient Silk Road in China's arid Xinjiang province. We saw these fossilized dumplings along with some very ancient egg rolls and fried dough twists during a recent visit to the Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology at the University of Pennsylvania. By linking the east to the west, the Silk Road provided a convenient route for traders and merchants to spread delicious dumplings all over the world. So today we're going to be making some Chinese pot stickers. Pot stickers? What is the difference between pot stickers and dumplings? It's a very good question. So, pot stickers are dumplings that have been lightly pan fried on the bottom. And dumplings, you can make them in a number of different ways. You can steam them, you can boil them, you can deep fry them, or you can lightly pan fry them. So, pot stickers got their name because they stick to the bottom just a little bit. And when you lift it up, you'll see that it's a little bit golden brown on the bottom. And that means that it's ready to go. Oh, that's great. So, I'm ready to learn today how to make pot stickers. I'm excited. Wonderful, let's get started. So I'm gonna fill my pot stickers with four different ingredients. So we have here black shiitake mushrooms. We have here dried bean curd, which you can also call tofu. We have some bean thread noodles, or you can call them cellophane noodles. And you have some baby bok choy. So the mushrooms and the bean thread noodles, you're gonna to have to soak them overnight because they come dried. So I've already prepared this for you. Oh, well, that's great. It looks so healthy. I'm excited. So what we need to do is we're going to have to grind these up in the food processor. I use this because it's a lot easier than to chop everything up by hand. So would you like to help me put them all in? With pleasure. Yes. Just tell me what to do. Okay, great. So how about you put these two in and I'll put these two in. Okay, great. Looks good. Yeah, just a little bit more and I think we're good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let me cover this up and we'll be ready to go. Now we have our filling. We're ready to fill our pot stickers. So we're going to take these. Okay. We're going to take these wrappers, they're round dumpling wrappers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you Thank one. You. And be careful, they break pretty easily, so just be very careful with them. And you're going to add a little bit of water to the edge to make them stick. It's like envelope. <laughs> yes, kind of wrapping a little package. Mm -hmm. So okay. then you're going to take a little bit of filling, about a teaspoonful. You're going to put it in the middle of the wrapper. Okay. 
And then you're going to take one side and you're going to bring it up to the other side. And you're going to take the middle and you're going to close the middle, but leave the two sides open. And so you're going to take one side, you're going to push it in a little bit and take the side that's close to you, you're going to snap it shut. And then the other side that's still open, you're going to squeeze it shut. I'm going to do that for the other side too. You're going to push it closed, you're going to snap it shut, and the other side you're going to push it closed. So then you have something that's a little bit like a half moon shape and it's going to stand mm -hmm. up. Just like that. It's an interesting technique. Okay, let's do another one. Give you a wrapper. Mm -hmm. I forgot to put some Yeah, water. that's right. You don't to forget to little envelope. add the water to make it stick. Mm -hmm. So just put the water along the edge half way around. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of filling in the middle like this. And then you're going to take one side and bring it over to the other side. Snap the middle shut and leave the two sides open. And you're going to push it closed. You're going to snap one side shut that's closest to you. And the other side, you're going to push it closed. So the other side, do the same thing. You're going to push it up, snap one side shut that's closest to you. The other side, you're going to push it down so that it's closed. End up with a little bit of like half moon shape. So they look like butterflies. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very nice. Now that they're all prepared, let's pan fry them. Shall we? We shall. So I'm going to place these one by one into the pan, just like this. Larissa, would you like to take over for me? Sure. <laughs> so, but it takes some time, so we need to wait at least like five minutes. While we wait for pot stickers to cook, let's make some dipping sauce. Yes, good idea. So I have here some vinegar, mm -hmm. some soy sauce, soy sauce, sesame oil. That's my favorite. If you want a little kick, I have here some hot sauce. Okay. So I'm gonna take the vinegar, pour it into a bowl. I'm gonna add the soy sauce. Gonna add the sesame oil and the hot sauce. Just a little bit. You don't want it to be too spicy. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna swish it up. And there you go. Mm. It's looking pretty good. What do you think, Larissa? I think pretty good, but maybe it should be some more. I think so, you're right. A couple more minutes and I think they'll be ready to go. It looks amazing. Thank you. As you can see, they're pretty easy to make. I can't wait to try them, but they look similar to what my mom does. Every nation throughout history developed their own cuisines, which was made from flour and wheat. In China, it was a big variety of dumplings. In Russia, pilmeni. Ravioli came from Italy. Piroshki were made in Poland. And uh, koldenai were made in Litva. And in Ukraine, which is located geographically in the center of Europe, were made vareniki. My name is Valentina. I am from Ukraine. Today I am to show you how to cook vareniki. There are a lot of ways to make vareniki. Valentina is gonna show one of them. She is taking water, a small spoon of salt. 
Yeah. She's going to take half spoon of soda and half spoon of sugar. And actually she is ready to make dough. Now she's making dough and sometimes it takes quite a while, time. So Valentina is making circle shaped pieces and meanwhile on the stove she has a large pot filled with water and a small pan on which she's going to fry onions with vegetable oil. Uh, Valentina is going to stuff vareniki with mashed potatoes and mushrooms. These two ingredients have been prepared already. So now it's time uh, for Valentina to put vareniki inside of um, the pot and to boil them. And she says that usually it takes at least five minutes for vareniki to be ready. Okay, now Valentina is taking Vareniki out. Looks appetizing. And now she's placing fried onions all over Vareniki.
Now we know how the history of various cuisine was making its way. Traditions were moving from west to east and vice versa. Why shouldn't we assume that all those dishes from different countries are simply relatives in international cuisine? Smachnogo! Kande! Bon appetit! Античний архітектор Будує день новий Коламний колізей І падає туман З метеликових слів На соняшник долоні І падає туман З метеликових слів На соняшник долоні Мій погляд Теплий дощ Примтить в розламах неба Та гостро це вітер Незвідомий зима Де світить і болить Печаль мандрівника І постійно Амирію Де світить і болить Печаль мандрівника І постійно Watching you guys, how you made it. Thank you. You're so genius. Я знаю, завтра в ніч засніжить поле вічність і зійде 